Hey guys, Christina Steenbrook here, director for the Fresh Sense of Smell Air, star director. You guys are gonna have to start trying to figure out how long it's gonna take me to say the right title. Whoop whoop. Um, I am a direct, star director for Cincy Fragrance, and my team is the Fresh Sense of Smell Air, like I said. Um, I'm going to try to uh, stay diligent on starting a series of videos. Oops, I know, I'm tracking my miles, thank you. Um, on what to do when you first start selling Scentsy. So, like, you just signed up? Now what? Um, but today, our first video is going to be, right from the start, how to sign up. And, um, first of all, I want to talk to you guys about the importance of choosing a sponsor when you decide that you're going to start selling Scentsy. Um, number one, you want to make sure you find somebody who is not less dedicated to your dreams than you are. Um, you don't want to just sign up under your best friend. I know that it sounds like you're doing her a favor, but you're not. Um, the way our compensation plan works is somebody really has to be working their business to benefit from building a team, which is supposed to deter people from just recruiting people if they have no interest in selling more than 150 once every three months, and things like that. In order to get paid on somebody on your team, you have to sell $500 in a month. And um, one reason I love that about our compensation plan is it keeps people from um, just sitting on their hands and making money on people. Um, it makes sure that they're continuously working their business, that they're still actively doing parties, and um, that they're still fully ingrained in Cincy and not just recruiting people um, for the residual income. The residual income is awesome if you're working your business. So when your friend signs up, or say your friend signed up a while back and she just sells 150 once every three months but just doesn't really do anything else with her business, um, you're not benefiting her by signing up under her. It sounds like you are, but you're just not. If she's not gonna sell $500 every single month, if she's not working her business, you're not benefiting her. And in turn, she's not really benefiting you because she's not working her business in a way that helps her understand um, what to do in every situation. Um, you wanna sign up under somebody who's extremely versed in everything there is to know about Scentsy, somebody who's extremely excited about it, somebody who's working their business very actively, um, it doesn't matter if they don't have anyone on their team yet. That's not what the important part is. So don't go looking around for people's titles. Um, I don't go looking, you know, I have people all the time who are like, so-and-so signed up under a star director out in Oklahoma instead of me because her title was higher. Okay, you would think that that would be a really good approach. And it might turn out to be a good approach. Um, but you really need to get to know the person that you are going to sign up under. Don't just sign up under somebody with a title. Um, I know several people who have certain titles who don't work their businesses um, or they're taking some time off. Um, and just because their title says one thing doesn't usually mean that they're an active part of the Cincy community. It doesn't usually mean that they earn trips. It doesn't usually mean, um, or it doesn't, it, it usually means, but it doesn't always mean is what I mean. Um, but I do believe that most people out there selling Scentsy are doing a great job doing it, especially those with higher titles. So you're pretty safe with that approach. But don't assume that they're going to be a better leader for you just because they have a bigger team. I have a really large team, so it sounds like I'm shooting myself in the foot. But I really want to make sure that you're looking for somebody who your personalities match, somebody who knows enough about Scentsy that's going to help you um, learn everything that you need to know. They're going to train you. They're going to not leave you high and dry. Um, and the only other thing that I would suggest is if you are going to sign up under your best friend, make sure that she just started. Make sure that she like literally signed up like the week before. Um, or make her prove to you that she's going to work her business. Because um, I always recommend my girls to sign up their best friends right away. Um, which sounds counterintuitive to what I'm saying, but really it's actually good because the friend hasn't really been with Cincy long enough to decide that she's not gonna try that hard yet. So she's really excited, she's having lots of parties, and excitement keeps the business going. And then when you have someone on your team who's just as excited as you are, it's proven that you have much greater success. 
So, um, but if your friend has been in Cincy for like a year and has never really done much with it, you just know she sells it because she's mentioned to, to you once and then once every three months she calls her six best friends to try to get an order or once every three months. So make sure it's somebody who's still really excited about Scentsy, somebody who is working their business the best they can um, and then go from there. Um, so first of all, you want to sponsor shop. You want to find the best sponsor um, because I get so many messages and there's nothing wrong with these messages. I love to help you. Um, and I also say it because I didn't sponsor shop, which is another story. My Fitbit just fell off. Um, I get so many messages from you guys on YouTube who you just signed up under your best friend and now you have no idea what to do because she's not helping you. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, she's not helping you. You're not helping her. It's not a good business relationship. Um, you want to try to find somebody who really meshes with you and someone who's going to help you um, do the best that you can and to really work your business and to help you get the most out of your Cincy business and to help you reach all of the goals that you've set for yourself. Um, places to find sponsors. Um, you can sign up under me if you want, but that's not what the point of this video is. Um, go ahead and start looking around on YouTube. There's some really great people out there. Um, I know Katie Farner is like one of my best friends and she'd be an excellent sponsor. A lot of my best friends are the people on YouTube who make videos. Don Rachel Rust, um, I can name a thousand. They're amazing people and they would all do a really great job um, sponsoring you. You just want to find someone who meshes with your personality, okay? Um, find somebody who you feel like you have a lot in common with. If you'd like to learn a little more about me, go to my YouTube page, read my, or listen to my Cincy story. I'll tell you a little bit about my Cincy story and how I got started. Like I said, I didn't sponsor shop. Um, I had no help whatsoever. I didn't, I've still never really spoken to anyone in my upline ever in my life. Um, so, um, when I tell you to sponsor shop, I'm serious. <laughs> so make sure you look for a sponsor. So after you found the sponsor that you want, how do you sign up for selling Scentsy? Um, I know that some drug sales companies and stuff, you sit down and you fill out some paperwork and they mail it in and things like that. Ours is literally online. So your sponsor has to have her website active and then you just go to her website and click join. Um, mine's listed below. If you want to see what that looks like, you can click there, but make sure you don't sign up under me unless you mean to. Um, and then, uh, but yeah, go to your friend, sign up under her, and make sure you just click join right at the top. There's just three words at the top. It says shop, party, and join. It's super easy to find. Click join, and then you're going to be able to go from there. To sell Scentsy, you have to at least be 18. Um, there's a lot of different countries uh, that you can sell Scentsy in, um, and to sign up for Scentsy in a country that's not the United States, you do have to find a sponsor who has signed cross-border agreements. I've signed all of them. Um, so if you're in any region that we are open in, um, we're open in several countries in Europe, we're open in Australia, New Zealand, we're open in Mexico, Canada, all kinds of places like that. If you need more information on which countries that we're in, let me know. If you're trying to sponsor somebody in another country, let me know. I can tell you more information about that as well. So like I said, sponsor shop. Find somebody who match matches your personality and don't be afraid to ask them the hard questions. Make sure you know what you want out of your Cincy business. Are you doing it just to make a little extra money? Are you doing it to maybe someday stay home with your kids? Are you doing it for the free vacations? Find somebody who knows a lot about using Scentsy for those purposes. You wouldn't want to sign up under somebody who's never been on a trip with Scentsy. If your goal is to earn free trips with Scentsy, you're going to want to find somebody who's been on a few trips, um, unless you're signing up under your best friend. But make sure that they've signed up under somebody who's been on some trips with Scentsy. Um, so just make sure that you find somebody who knows about what you're going through and what you're trying to get out of your business. Um, so find somebody who matches your personality, sponsor shop, don't just sign up under your best friend unless she proves to you that she's going to be a good sponsor for you. And uh, I hope that's everything that I meant to cover in this video. You're in my mobile office right now. I'm making customer deliveries today. We're in my Scentsy slug a little bit and uh, just trying to make some videos on the fly here. So I hope that wasn't too rambly. I think it was, it was nine minutes. I probably should have done that in way less time. So anyway, have a wonderful day. I love you all. Thanks for watching. And let me know if you have any questions about Sensi, compensation, what it's like to be a Sensi consultant or the kinds of things that you should look for in a sponsor. I'd love to help you out with that. Um, so like I said, find a sponsor and you sign up on their websites. You just go to Scentsy.com if you don't have a sponsor or if you wanna find somebody local, there's no benefit to signing up under somebody local. I'm just gonna put that out there right now. Everyone's like, well, I'm gonna sign up under this person because they're local. Zero benefit to that. Um, not any that's measurable. 
anyway so um, most of my team is all over the country and I think all of them feel pretty good about being on our team regardless of where they are especially the way that the world works now nobody really does much in person you're gonna have a few teams out there who do team meetings in person we do some a little bit um, but most of our team isn't local so it's not something we focus a lot on um, but yeah it doesn't matter if they're not local just find somebody who matches your personality somebody who's willing to give um, and put their time into you and train you um, and if they are if you don't really like somebody who's that hands-on you're gonna want to find somebody who's not quite as hands-on but is still a strong leader um, so yeah I just started talking again even after I said I was done okay bye I'm serious I'm done <laughs> have a great day